What's up, Ant City, and welcome to the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Challenge. If you haven't seen this before, or you just needed a refresher, then allow me to explain the rules. So rule number one is that you're only allowed to play as one character at a time. So to give an example of that, let's just jump straight to rule number two, is that you have to start with Tanjiro. So Tanjiro, the very first Tanjiro, is the character you have to start with. So back to rule number one with the one character at a time thing. So let's say you have Tanjiro and Nezuko on your team, because you obviously have to pick two characters. You're allowed to assist with Nezuko, but you can't switch into her, and I'll explain why right now with rule number three, which is that all characters only have two lives. Now, these lives are going to be counted by the rounds, not individual matches, but actual rounds within the matches. So these are permanent lives, too. So it's not like you get two lives per match. It's two lives across the board. So let's say you're playing as Tanjiro and then you lose two rounds. You have to then switch into your next character, which for this example is Nezuko. But your second character can be whoever you want it to be. You just have to start with Tanjiro. That just gives everyone like a, a common starting point, you know? But your second character can be whoever. And rule number four is that after both of the lives are used on your character, you can no longer use that character. So for this example, it was Tanjiro, but this goes for every character for the whole challenge. If you lose both your lives, that character is out. Rule number five is that the Academy characters do not actually count as separate characters because they basically are the same as the normal characters. Like Academy Tanjiro and normal Tanjiro have the same moveset basically, so they don't count as separate characters. Now as a bonus rule, if you end up not losing any rounds for six matches, so six total matches, not rounds, but six individual matches, then you have to move on to the next character just because I want this challenge to actually have an ending point because technically... You could just win forever with Tanjiro, and then this challenge would go on forever. So, we're capping it out at six matches per character. So, once you hit six matches, you move on to the next character. But yeah, that's it for the rules. So, without further ado, make sure you like and subscribe, and then let's get right into the video. all right so we're back in, in here with episode six of the demon slayer nuzlocke challenge we're already down to giyu and shinobu but uh if you didn't see the last episode uh, i recommend checking that out so you can see why we're already down to giyu which i mean I, you could probably guess but um yeah so welcome back to the demon slayer nuzlocke challenge hope you guys have been enjoying it so far yeah uh, if you've been keeping up with all the episodes though you know it's been kind of kind of not going the best for me but but it's fine. It is perfectly fine. Because, like, as I said, in, like, at the end of the last video, the whole point of this challenge is for me to, like, show off how good I am at the game. I mean, kind of. Like, I, I mean, I would prefer if I won, obviously. Like, I don't want to, like, lose. But a lot of people are... Like, first of all, it's really hard to just find a room in general when playing the game. So it's, like, I don't know if that just makes me, like, impatient or what. But, like, I don't know. Finding a room is just really hard is what I can say. Please, do, do your... Why wouldn't he do the heavy? There we go. Oh, I forgot Giyu as a counter. I should start using that more. I'm going to do that. Like that. Oh, and I got her with the grab. I wasn't, I wasn't even trying to go for the grab, but that actually worked. Grabs do a lot of damage in this game for, like, no reason. Oh, get her with the water. Oh, I missed. Come on. That would have been nice. Ooh, that counter was clean. Dead calm. Let's go, Giyu, with the little dead calm there. Okay. Okay, Giyu, I see you. I see you, Giyu. That rhymed. Alright, let's trap her a bit. Ah, oh, he, he got me with the pushback. Yeah, I guess once I get pushed back, I just need to block. I don't know, I still gotta... I think I need to just play the game more, to be honest. Because there's a lot of things I'm not sure exactly how they work still. Oh! I could've... Oh! I give, my, give myself. Counter. Counter again. Why didn't the second counter work? You saw the aura show up. What? Come on. Okay, block. What? <sighs> she still got me first. I don't know how. She got me first. I guess her sword was... I guess because she lunges forward with it. That was a nice stab. Like, I, I don't know. I like felt it coming, but I still just couldn't do anything about it. Okay, 
then I'm dead. Okay, well, that's the end of Giyu. So now we're going over to Shinobu now. Yeah, like I said, this might be a pretty short Nuzlocke series, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, my. look at that. She's a nice little combo, though. I got to respect the assist into the Rengoku. Uh, what was it? Scorching Sun? One, one of those Rengoku moves. She, like, assisted, or he, or, or she. It could be a she. I'm going. I said I'm saying she originally just because it's Shinobu. I don't. I don't know. I tend to do. That. Does anyone else do that? Like when they're talking about their opponent, they go based on like the character they're playing and not what necessarily. Because there's no way from tell their actual gender. So like I just kind of go based on whatever character they're playing. I am body. I don't know why. Like I was just hitting it repeatedly. Yeah, Goku was getting beat up like <laughs> for no reason. It was funny. Oh no! I meant to dash. Why did I do that? And now I, I couldn't cancel out the move. And then she picked it right back up. I need a block. Block, block, block. I'm dead. Well, uh, that's the end of... of well, we actually have one more life with Shinobu. But, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next round. Yeah, we, we might... Th my characters might just get ran through, but... Yeah, I'll see you in the next round. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going up against a Rui, and yeah, we're down to Shinobu and Rengoku. I just, re like, uh, looking at the roster just now, I just realized how little characters there actually are in this game. Because after Rengoku, the last non-demon is Hinokami Tanjiro, which we'll probably see in the next video. But, um, yeah, like, the last character that isn't a demon is Hino and then after that, it's just demons. So, yeah, this, this, I mean, at least we have the demons to extend the series a bit more. But, like, yeah, it's going to be pretty pretty short, like, not including the demons. Like, we're going to run through this roster pretty quickly. But hopefully, maybe I can, like, do better with Rengoku once I get to him, which might be this next, very next round. But, um, actually, I think it's 100% than the very next round. Oh, wait. Oh, not 100%. We're still alive. Get Rengoku out. All right, get him. I should have let Rengoku's attack go through, but it's fine. Block him. No, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay. Let's just get him with the grab again. <laughs> the grab works, so we're gonna just use it. Okay, nice little trap. Oh, that was okay. I was, if you're gonna tell, I was focused. I was trying to do that to him, get him with the grab, but he got me instead. All right, well, now it's on to Ren Goku for us. Hopefully, we can do better because Ren Goku is a character that I've actually used a lot. Zenitsu and Ren Goku, but I mean, we kind of we saw the Zenitsu video one. Like we we, we just won't talk about it, but um. And I already dropped it. Great. All right, let's go, Rengoku. Rengoku just does crazy damage. Is his thing though. That's why he's good. His damage is just insane. That like literally, literally, that's all it is. Just his damage is crazy. Oh no! I, why did I do? That? I forgot that you get left wide open when you do the up rising sun. rising sun. Yeah, rising sun. Because you're going up rising. Yeah, that was a nice grab. That was a nice grab. I was actually gonna like attack him, but he just grabbed me instead. Bro, I, I did. I wanted to assist with Shinobu, not. Oh my god! I don't know how I stopped that, but I did. Cause I'm Ren Goku. He's built different. That's why. <laughs> Get him with that. Let's go. Ren Goku might actually go slightly better than everyone else, just cause Ren Goku's built different and he just does crazy damage, like I've said before. So like, yeah, might be doing a little bit better with Ren Goku, but we will see. Right, let's get him. Oh, I realize I have a level three. Oh, we might use that in a bit. Not quite yet, but in a little bit. Oh, that was a clean. What? I did a heavy, and he like got out of it. So nice grab, nice grab. Okay, okay, respect. Oh, nice per. That was a clean perfect block. I actually that actually might kill me. That perfect block could kill me. We'll see though. I was going to say, is he just going to infinite combo me with that? Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, get him! Let's go, Rengoku! Let's go, Rengoku! Oh, he's... I, I dropped it. That was my fault. I almost said he stopped it, but that was actually completely my fault for just dropping it. Oh, and he's healing! No, that's bad. Okay, we're going to have to do my ult here soon. If and when I can. <gasps> no, I'm dead! I'm dead, but but we still have. Oh my gosh, that was that looked crazy. Okay, hold on, Rui. Uh, we do have one more life with Rengoku still, so 
it's not all over but i, I definitely could have won that round it's just i, I don't know i just uh, if i didn't drop that one combo i probably could have ulted and it would have worked why do i keep doing that i i know that doesn't work but i keep doing it shinobu get out here oh nice we stopped his grab with shinobu all right slice him up get on the ground do this back up look like look at rangoku's damage it's ridiculous oh nice perfect block heavy i should have fully charged the heavy but then the only problem with fully charging the heavy is it gives people more time to like react so he all he does that every time and i fall for it that grab that little grab combo he does it's good but i fall for it every single time good block i need me to move there you go i want to get him with the ult because I, I feel like that's never mind <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. Unless Shinobu... Yeah, no, I don't think she's going to be here in time. Oh, my God. Wait, he dropped it. That's my only... My only chance is the fact that... Never mind. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's it for Rengoku. So, um... I should have just ulted. If I just ulted right there, I could have won. Oh, well. Anyways, yeah, we're going to end the video off now. So, I'll see y'all in a minute. But anyways, guys, that was, uh... That was something. But that was it for this episode of the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Challenge. So I hope you all enjoyed. Remember, if you're going to try out this challenge for yourself, make sure you use the hashtag Demon Slayer Nuzlocke tag on whatever video, clip, or whatever you post. Just use put hashtag Demon Slayer Nuzlocke either in the title or description. And make sure that uh, you like this video if you did like it. If you enjoyed what you saw today, make sure you like the video. Or... If you didn't enjoy it, then you don't have to like it. But uh, if you really, really did like it, make sure you share it around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your coworkers, and put it down into your favorites playlist. But yeah, that's it for me, though. Till next time, I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.